In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how one-way area loads can be applied to a frame which supports a slab. For this example, it is assumed that the slab is being supported directly by the beams 7 to 10. So this means the system is considered one-way and no distributed loads need to be applied to the girders 1 to 6. So these members here and these members here. The slab sits on top of this frame from edge to edge with a pressure load of 1.2 KSF. The area load will, be, will create distributed loads, or DLs, with a rectangular distribution. So to do this in SkySiv, simply go to the main menu and select area loads. Then from the drop down, click one way open area. Then you present the values for the member IDs you want to create one way open area. So we'll use 10 and 9 with a value of 1.2. It's created there and then we we'll repeat this for these two areas here. So again from the drop down we select values 9 and 8 for members 1.2 magnitude And as you can see, you can um, apply these in the global X, Y, or Z directions, and you can also assign them load groups. Now, the view that you presented here shows the pressure load view. If you go to the view settings, you can change these to show the equivalent area loads or DLs. So you'll notice that the distribution is rectangular. And another interesting point is that the magnitudes across all the members are not the same. So the reason for this is because the spacing between the members contributes to the area load. Now, because the spacing between 8 and 9 is the largest, this applies the largest area load of 1.8. Conversely, because members 9 and 10 have the shortest separation, they have the lowest area load of 0 0.6. Now, members 8 and 9 are in the middle of two areas. This means they get applied two area loads on the member. So member 9, for example, has both a 0.6 kip per foot load as well as a 1.8 kip per foot load applied. Going back, you can go back to the area load menu and select any of the area loads you defined to make any edits to either the members, the pressure magnitude, or the direction offering you the convenience to change these at any time. In the next videos, we'll be exploring the distributions created by one-way closed area loads and two-way area loads. Thanks and bye for now.